Hey everyone, this is Joey, otherwise known as the Iron Cowboy, Gunner Lang, and I was on Geeks Collide with Steve, Jeff, and Avery, also otherwise known as the Bone Crusher Steve Brown, Kyle Davenport, and Herbie Hancock. 99.99% average. And we had ourselves a, uh, a little toy hunt, and it was a magnificent experience. So Jeff and I did our own toy hunt, I think it was a week or two after, and we didn't record anything. Which we didn't really put much thought into, but then after you know, sharing some of uh, the finds with Steve, uh, apparently Steve told Jeff that we should have recorded that because uh, there, was, there was some great footage worthy stuff. And so now I'm on a bit of a solo toy hunt for my birthday. And today's my birthday. I'm 25, which is, which is vintage. So now I'm vintage, which is a, a nicer way of saying a quarter a century old. So I have just myself. I'm solo today. Jeff suggested I record, record whatever I can. And I have a few stops in mind. I live in Oshawa, so there's really not a massive selection of stuff, but there are a couple of comic shops, one of which sells toys. Actually, two, three comic shops, three comic shops, two of which sell toys. Uh, I'm gonna be making stops at all of them. Uh, the first one is my local comic shop, um, Worlds Collide. And that's going to be where I just get my my comic pick up for my, my poll list. And then after, I'm going to take a quick little jaunt down the road to New Books. And uh, we'll see if I can find anything there. But first and absolutely most importantly is Tim Hortons, because it is still the morning. And uh, I, I can't start without Tim's. I'm sure tons can relate. So I'm gonna do that stupid hand thing Steve likes and uh, I'll catch y'all in a minute. All right, we're back on the road. Well, I'm back on the road. There is no we, well, I guess me and y'all. But I'm back on the road and heading to our first stop worlds collide for my uh, pull list pickup so nothing particularly too toy related there um, I'll show you after that what I get just for shits and giggles um, what am I looking for today well I guess I'm looking for I just I guess just kind of anything that jumps out at me I'm I don't often go out with a set game plan of what I'm looking for on a particular toy hunt but if I can find some McFarlane series action figures that would be awesome um, particularly uh, the Batman who laughs action figure I saw that a ton of times back when it first came out and I slept on it and and then the day that I actually decided to go get it, I, well, I struck out. I, I couldn't find it. So that was a SOL for me. And now I've been kicking myself in the ass for it every day since. So, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll have some birthday luck. I'll get, I could probably get that. Um, pops, definitely into pops. Since I'm vintage today, maybe I could find myself a vintage toy. That would be cool. And there's a perfect store for that just around the corner from Worlds Collide um, called Comics Alley Toys. And they have tons of comics, tons of uh, previously loved toys and action figures of many, many different topics and genres. Old TV series, wrestling, of course. And I haven't been there in a while, so I'm kind of excited to see what I might be able to dig up. I'm trying to avoid the mall, not because I don't like it. I actually love the mall. I'm probably one of the youngest mall walkers there is. 
but it is my birthday and I try to avoid places that are more common knowledge to most people, especially to people I know, because that's typically where people like my family and my fiance will like go to shop for me. So unfortunately, I'm I'm gonna try to stay away from like places like Hot Topic and EB Games. I might go in and peruse anyway, but that but just in case you're wondering why there's no Toys R Us, Hot Topic, EB Games in the hunt, that's why. Maybe I'll do another hunt another time. Maybe I'll make this a thing with my solos. And then, then there will be more Toys R Us and Hot Topic and EV Games galore. Alright, I'll see you after I get out of Worlds Collide. Alright, so I just finished up at Worlds Collide. And uh, it was a lot easier on the wallet than I had expected. Just picked up Shazam number 15. Uh, honestly, I've really been enjoying this run. Unfortunately, that is the last issue of that run. I mean, that's not to say that they won't pick it up again sometime down the road, but like it was just finally starting to like pick up and like the story paid off a little bit and then it left it in an area where like they could do more stuff. But you know, with the, with the new Black Adam movie coming out and then another Shazam movie coming out sometime after that, I'm, I'm confident it'll come back again. Anywho, I'm gonna head to New Books now, even though uh, Comics Alley Toys is like literally just around the corner that way. I guess I'll just loop around and catch it on my way back. Um, I noticed that the that the video is a little bit uh, shaky, and uh, that's because um, in Oshawa the roads suck. Like it's potholes and cracks everywhere. So I apologize ahead of time for that. Um, but for now, I'll see you after I get out of New Books. All right, just finished up at New Books and ended up scoring this awesome, sick ass looking, infamous Iron Man pop. It's a PX exclusive Halloween Comic Fest 2020 and it glows in the dark. Not sure how, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like the eyes and all the little like mint green uh, spots on there that's like the repulsors. Now normally, I don't collect anything Marvel just because, and it's not because I hate Marvel, because trust me, I love Marvel just as much as the next guy, but... I already have just so much DC comic stuff that like you got to draw the line somewhere and if I were to start with Marvel then I would just fall down the deepest damn rabbit hole and my office would be even more overcrowded than it already is. So that one was a pretty good find um, because it was just out of the box like they had not the box it's in but like they had just gotten the shipment and he was just putting them on the shelf and I, I snagged myself one of them. So that was cool. Like I said, normally I just grab the DC stuff, but honestly, I could not resist an infamous Iron Man. I've always loved that design and that story. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like an Elseworlds type story where uh, Dr. Doom uh, becomes the new Iron Man. And uh, hence like the whole hooded look. Uh, you probably get a better look at it if you get it online. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, show you a little bit later. But now, anyway, uh, I am on my way to Comics Alley Toys. And that is that place I was telling you about that has a lot of uh, older stuff. It has older stuff, new stuff. It has tons of toys for tons of different series. I mean, like, you can get everything from, like, different kinds of pops, comic action figures, horror figures, Star Wars, wrestling, <laughs> The Simpsons. I mean, like, my fiance, for whatever reason, she's the farthest thing from a geek or a toy hunting nerd or anything, but she fell in love head over heels for these Simpsons figures that I found. So if I can find any more of those, maybe I'll grab some of those for her, too. So, unfortunately, I struck out at Comics Alley Toys. They do have a ton of great stuff, don't get me wrong. Just nothing in particular that I'm really looking for right now or that grabbed my attention. I almost bought a couple of Lucy's, but uh, decided against it. Uh, not too sure why. I guess I'm just uh, holding out for maybe something different. Um, 
they had some build a figure completed figures that were really cool but i just really do not feel like spending a hundred and some odd bucks on that right now uh no mcfarland series batman who laughs as of yet and that's all the really like comic book shop toy genuine toy shops in oshawa uh so i'm probably not gonna find that today i mean like screw it i'll go to the mall later i'm gonna stop for lunch right now have a little break and then when i get back at it i'll hit up my usual spots in the mall like uh mind games eb games uh, hot topic i'll even go to indigo i have like 20 dollars off over there right now so i'll definitely walk out with something um just to make up for leaving empty-handed from uh comics alley toys so i'll show you what i get when i get there and i'll see y'all then all right so i just finished a run through of all my regular spots in the mall um i hit eb games or it's ebx here a uh, hot topic a place called then and now it's usually like a record store but you can get some cool action figures and pops there too and other collectibles um where else i hit indigo mind games um struck out at ebx and mind games i did i got my first score at hot topic using some hot cash i got this Batman Forever Two-Face. Definitely one of my top favorite Batman movies. That was my like it Batman movie growing up. And from Legend of Korra, Mako. I know, I don't look like it, but Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra are really high up on my like animated show list. And after that, I'll get after that I went to then and now but I'll get to that last so I did go to Hot Topic so I went to Indigo after Hot Topic and I got Justice League Volume 5 of the Scott Snyder run uh, with James Tinian as well and it's uh, it's a big one it's uh, gonna take me a while to get to and even longer to read uh, but I'm really excited I got that and it's regular 33 bucks but I got 20 bucks off it with uh, renewing my plum membership and finally something I got after passing up uh, passing it up for like the last 10 times I went into that store and I figured you know what screw it if it's there today it's my birthday I'll get it for myself and it's the Batman Beyond complete series with a limited edition metallic Batman Beyond Funko I tried so hard to not spend as much money as this was worth every other time I went there, but today I was like, screw it. And so now I got that and that's probably where I should stop for today. But I just remembered that not too far from here in Whitby is a comic shop called Comic Addiction and I've never been there. So I figured today might be just, since I'm on a hunt anyway, might make a bonus stop over to there, see if I find anything. And I'll let you guys know if I do. You ever get tingles about a place you've never been to before, right before you go in? I think I got that. All right, well, that wraps up my last and final stop of the day. And Jeez, I, I wish I could have been recording in there because they have an absolute plethora of sideshow statues in there on display and they are just absolutely unbelievable. Like if I had $800 just to piss away, this is where I would go. And unfortunately, I didn't end up finding my McFarlane Batman Who Laughs action figure was really hoping that uh a little uh have some little uh bonus magic here and uh and cap off the hunt with uh with what I, the only thing that i was actually looking for in the first place um but no i mean i still i didn't come out empty-handed anyway i mean like it is a comic shop so i grabbed a comic i grabbed uh the dark knights uh death metal tie-in speed metal and it's really cool you can tell like it has like 
the Flash family, but like decked out like really angsty punk rock looks. Really into stuff like that with alternate costumes and things. All right, well, that, that about does it, I guess. Well, thanks for coming along. Later. All right, so I know I'm done toy hunting today, but i uh, got one last thing. And it's technically not a part of the toy hunt because I didn't hunt it. But when my fiance came home for lunch today, she gave me a Toy Story chess set. And I was hella stoked about it. So since it is my birthday and it is Toy Story, I'm gonna go ahead and count it. So I'd say that's a pretty good cherry on top of it, a good day. So here is a little summary of the spoils of a successful toy hunt. Of course, I started at Worlds Collide, my favorite comic shop, not just being biased. Okay, maybe I am a little bit. Got issue 15 of Shazam, which uh, honestly I'm a little sad is the final issue of this run. Because I've honestly been enjoying it. It's been a lot, it's been a lot of fun. I do like some of the uh, some of the heroes with a bit less spotlight. Um, and then I took it over to uh, New Books, picked up this infamous Iron Man. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's glow in the dark. I guess the eyes, the little repulsors there, and I guess wherever you see kind of a mint green on there. If it was darker, which it's not because it's daytime, I'd probably get a better look at that. Then, where was it? Yep, struck out at, at Comics Alley Toys. But to make up for that, I went over to the mall, even though I decided I wasn't gonna. Figured, screw it, it's my birthday, I'll shop if I wanna. And I got uh, Mako from The Legend of Korra and Two-Face from Batman Forever, a classic for me. Uh, those were hot topic. I went to Indigo and grabbed Justice League, Justice, Doom War, that's Justice League Volume 5 of the Scott Snyder, James Tinian run. And I am absolutely loving the art, the story, all this. I mean, like, I sometimes I like to wait for the trade paperbacks to come out of a certain arc, uh, just so I can have a real good collective uh, reading experience when I go through it as opposed to waiting month after month for each issue. So that's what this is and uh, I can already guarantee it's gonna be well worth the wait. I skimmed through it and oh my god. <laughs> All I gotta say, Justice Society. Huge mark for Justice Society. Anyway, and finally, this is probably, probably the, bi actually it is the biggest purchase of the day. Uh, my Batman Beyond series complete series with a limited edition metallic Batman Beyond Funko and I have been hunting for a Batman Beyond Funko in the wild forever and I just passed up on this one for the past like 10 times I went to that store because it was just too expensive at the time but today I figured screw it it's my birthday I'm gonna treat myself so finally have that in the collection and I've and I've really wanted Batman Beyond the complete series anyway in my like movie archives too so there's that and then my first trip ever to comic addiction resulted in me finding death metal speed metal tie-in and i'm really excited to read this because uh, all the death metal stuff and everything before it that's been coming up has been really interesting um some of it's kind of nonsensical but i i really like nonsensical in comics it's comics it's fiction it's superpowers and stuff. It's not supposed to be that that realist, realistic or believable. So just turn your brain off and enjoy it. And that's, I'm assuming what I'm going to do with this. Um, and then finally, of course, this uh, little birthday gift. I've always, uh, I've always loved Toy Story. I'm a huge, huge Disney buff. And Toy Story, the first one had just come out when I was like tiny, when I was very small. Um, I think I was about 
if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it was about 90, it was the late 90s it came out, so I would have been like around four or five. And now my fiance uh, got me this, and she doesn't know how to play chess. So, help me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just not going to be able to enjoy this. But all in all, I am uh, very happy with how today turned out. And honestly, I really want to do one of these again. Uh, I'll de it'll def definitely be more fun with more people. But it's Wednesday. It's literally the middle of the week in the middle of a pandemic. And uh, who who who's not working besides me who got the day off work today? Thank <laughs> you.